go in chronological. Chrono. Why can I not say that word? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to get notified every single time I post, and smash the like button because, you know, that really helps me out a lot. Anyway, so today's video is super fun. It's actually going to be a birthday haul because it was my birthday on July 11th. I know, happy birthday to me. Whoops, I hate myself. Because of my birthday, obviously, I got a few gifts and I figured I'd just do like a quick little haul for you guys. And yeah, I got a few really good stuff. Some of them I got for myself, some of them I got for other people. Um, but either way, I figured I'd just put them all together in a little haul for you guys. So I think I'm just gonna go in chronological. Chrono. Why can I not say that word? Chronological. I think I'm just gonna go in chronological order of like when I got things. So the first thing that I got for myself is actually this book called Think and Grow Rich. This is one of the gifts that I did buy for myself since I'm turning 23, to be more responsible, I'm trying to think and grow rich out here. I've heard so many good things from podcasts, YouTube videos, articles, all those kind of things just really raving about this book and how it really got them thinking and inspired and ready to like start their own business, start their new career path. I'm only a few chapters in so I can't really recommend it right now but from so far it's really good. You can never go wrong with a little motivational money making book like this. This I would definitely recommend, but I would rather finish it before I give you my full on recommendation. But yeah, that's the first one. Okay, so the second thing that I got for my birthday is actually a camera. It's a film camera. It's a little Olympus Stylus Epic Zoom 80. That's what has zoom capability to zoom in, when you can zoom out, you can change the flash on it, all those kind of things. This is just a really advanced, simple film camera that you can really use in any situation. I've gone through a lot of film cameras in my day. This one is a really good staple to have and it really just like gets you thinking more about the type of shots you're taking and it's like super quick and uh, easy to carry because it's so small. It's one of my favorite birthday gifts that I got this year. Of course, I already finished one whole roll, so we're just gonna take a quick little snap of you guys and it's all done. You just go like that and it goes right back in. I've wanted this camera for so long. I'm really glad that I finally have this in my little camera repertoire. You guys know that I love film, so we're definitely gonna be taking a lot more pictures and posting a lot more film pictures in YouTube videos and on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram already, I'll have it linked down below, but I'll also put it on the screen here. It's at Dom by Design 9. Don't forget to follow me for content every day. <laughs> All right, and the next one is actually one that I got from my mom. She's literally the sweetest person ever. Of course, she had to pick up a bottle of Chanel cologne. This was actually the first cologne I ever, well, first designer cologne that I ever had. I got this when I started high school. So this is my signature scent. Everyone knows that I wear Chanel Bleu. I am obsessed. I already have one open and I'm using it. So I left this one in the package until I'm ready for it. But this is something that you don't necessarily want to spend your money on because I use it every day. But it was definitely something that I love and I will use. So you can never go wrong with some fragrances. You don't want to smell bad. If you stink, put some of this on, you're all good. Smelling bad is literally one of my biggest fears in the world, so this is a lifesaver. I have these two shirts that I thrifted from the, oh, I forgot what the company's I think it's called The Vault or Toronto Vault or something like that. I'll have it somewhere on the screen. This is a basketball world championship uh, vintage t-shirt. It's a white vintage tee, which I don't have any, surprisingly. It's plain on the back, which I love, and it just has like that nice graphic on the front. And this is actually quite pricey, but I feel like it was worth it because it has like that vintage aesthetic. And I love purple right now. I don't know what it is between this and my other vintage purple hoodie. I've been wearing them a million times. It's usually not my go-to color, but this is just really nice. It's just like that perfect oversized look and the material is great. It's a single stitch. It's just phenomenal. And 
And yeah, so this was about $60, a little bit pricey. But then I had also got this one for $40. This is a Harley Davidson tee. Again, really awesome graphics. And it's Canadian single stitch. And it's like really washed out, really good material. And I'm obsessed. Like I said, they were a little bit expensive, but the stuff at Toronto Volt is unparalleled. They had so much stuff I really had to like hold myself back from buying more because everything was so good. So definitely check them out. I'll have it linked down below as well. And then the final one is a big one and I've actually been looking for these shoes forever. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with YSL. Saint Laurent is my favorite brand and designer since I knew what designer was. So I've been looking for these particular shoes for quite some time. Honestly, these are not quite the exact ones that I've been looking for, but this is the closest I've been able to see in the last five years. That's how long I've been looking for these shoes. So, okay, you probably think I'm just like rambling on. I do have several pairs of Saint Laurent shoes already, but like I said, I've been looking for these ones for quite some time. These are the YSL Jodhpur boots in a dark gray. These, I would characterize this as like a charcoal gray. I was looking for it in a more of like a soft gray, but these just really called my name and I had to pull the trigger on them. I am obsessed. The silhouette is great. It's a size 44 for reference. I wear a size 11, 10 and a half, really depends. But these are actually a size 44. I did get these off grailed and I got them for a really good price. Honestly, if you're looking for your YSL boots, there are so many of them that are on grailed at really good prices. So definitely check them out. If it's your first pair, I definitely recommend going in store though and really trying the different sizes, different silhouettes to see what you like. But once you have at least three or four pairs or a couple pairs that you're happy with, definitely going on Grailed or the Real Real or any of those like secondhand stores. But like making sure that they're authentic, they're the perfect charcoal gray color. These are just great everyday boots, just going out, going out with friends, going out to dinner, going out for drinks, all that kind of stuff. So just another YSL shoe to add to my rotation. So that's it for our little birthday haul. That's everything that I got. Like I said, I really didn't do much. I haven't really seen that many people. So I am just super blessed to have made it to another year of life. And I am so thankful for everyone in my life. If you wish me a happy birthday, thank you so much. It really means a lot. And to everyone who got me these things and to myself for buying me some of these things as well. Uh, I'm just really fortunate and blessed to be living the life that I'm living and I'm so grateful. Also so grateful for you guys because you know, although we're a small family over here, you guys always make me feel so supported and I feel like I can tell you guys anything and you know we're gonna really start pumping up these videos because I am really feeling it now. I feel like at first I was a little hesitant, I was worried about what other people thought. But now we're just gonna do it. We're gonna have lots of fun, we're gonna do the hauls, we're gonna do the lookbooks and yeah we're just gonna have so much fun. If you liked this video or you liked any of the things that I got, make sure you smash the like button, obliterate the like button, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified every single time I post, comment down below which one is your favorite item. Also so comment down below what you want to see next on the channel because I don't know I'm just making videos based on what I like and what I like to watch on YouTube but I really want to know what you guys want to see so definitely let me know like I said before follow me on Instagram it's at Dawn by Design 9 I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>